For many families, Christmas just isn't the same without a tree. 80% of Americans put them up this time of year. It's a $2 billion business. Do we like real or fake Christmas trees? That is a good question Heather Brown first looked at last December. Do you prefer real or fake? Real, for sure. Real. Fake. Real trees. Real. Real. I prefer the real tree. Okay, so we got a unanimous vote here. What we'd like to have... It smells so good. ...isn't always what we get. Once I put one in my brand new car, it took years to get it out, <laughs> so it's pretty That's bad. when you made the move to fake? Yes. According to the American Christmas Tree Association, 20% of people go real, 80% use artificial. So I'm told I shouldn't use the word fake. That's right. <laughs> These are right. not fake trees. You can trees. use the word faux. <laughs> faux trees. Jennifer Lutz blogs for Tree Classics, and she has both kinds in her home. Artificial trees have just gotten better over the years. The technology is better. They look more real. Artificial trees are gaining in popularity, up from 60% just over 10 years ago. Like our tree, we've had it for almost over 10 years now, so it's been through a lot. For those who buy real, three quarters go pre cut, the others chop down their own. Full disclosure here, my family cuts down one every year at the same farm in Ramsey. The fake tree is no fun. The fake just doesn't cut it. So you're staking your ground. I'm staking my ground. <laughs> Half of artificial tree owners use theirs longer than 10 years, and 90% of them are now pre-lit. But the needles got to you. Yeah, it really did, especially on the carpet and just, just stepping barefoot. Have you ever said, okay, you know what, no tree this year? No, no, never. <laughs> What's the point of having gifts with no tree to put it underneath? The same feel is not there without the tree, no. Well, here's what is clear, even if we disagree on the type of tree, many of those who celebrate Christmas still want some kind in our home. If you have a good question for Heather, you can email it by going to wcco.com links.